Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to this breakout that will showcase how we can better represent the real world. Because as much as we all love tin surface, the world is not triangular. I'm Linda Sharkey, and I'm part of the technical marketing team here at Brixis. I know there are often two camps when it comes to smoothing tin surfaces. The never ever smooth it camp and the always, always smooth it camp. And whichever one you fall into, I'll walk you through the BricsCAD's new tin surface smoothing workflow and let you decide for yourself. So here we have a tin surface and we can see by the contours that it's pretty rough, leading to some very jagged contours. In fact, we'll adjust the contours. Uh, you know, we'll switch major from 30 to 10 and minor from two to five to better illustrate the extent of our jagginess. That's a technical term, by the way. So let's zoom out a little. And if we right click on the surface in the Civil Explorer and go to edit, we can see the new smoothing option. This will bring up the smoothing dialog box. You can see that the software is calculating points with this status bar here at the bottom. Um, and this is in real time, by the way. Now, a little bit of a nerd alert coming up. BricsCAD uses a smoothing method called natural neighbor interpolation. And without getting too bogged down in details, here's a brief explanation from our GIS friends at Esri. Natural neighbor interpolation basically adds new points based on your input into the dialog box and then finds the closest real data points and applies weights based on the proportion of areas around it, which gives you the interpolated value. Um, as an aside, and I love this, um, it's also called the area stealing method, which I think is a far more fun name. And I'm going to be lobbying the dev team to change it. Anyway, if you want to know more about the algorithms behind this, have a look at these links. The main thing is it works. Right, back to BricsCAD and within the dialog box, we can smooth the entire surface or choose a selected area, which is what we're going to do just to make things a little bit quicker. So pick the little arrow and draw your, your polygon, making sure to hit enter to finish up. Double clicking will just add another point. So make sure you hit enter to finish it up. Within the dialogue, you can see the number of points that will be added to the tin. Uh, and this is important to remember because um, you can adjust the added point grid spacing to whatever you want, but those points are actually added to the tin surface. And that means it'll increase in size. Now, this is very rarely a problem within BricsCAD because we have an awesome tin engine, but if you need to deliver this tin to a client or, or a colleague that's using another program, they may experience some slowdown. So it's a bit of a balancing act, really. So hit OK and BricsCAD will do the processing. Let's head back to our previous view and over on the Civil Explorer panel, we can check out the definitions view. You'll see that the smoothing has been added to the tin definition, so the steps that the tin has gone through. And we can switch this off and on to show the difference. Off, on. And if we zoom in a little bit more, we can see just how much the surface has changed. The smoothing definition can also be edited by right-clicking and choosing Edit. This will bring up the dialog panel, which is already populated with the parameters we stipulated in the first place. This little slider over here shows the existing polygon that was selected. It's in red, um, a little bit difficult to see. And we can select the little arrow again to redraw the selected area. Now, you need to switch the area slider back on in order to see it, which is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. And you can see the newly drawn area. Next up, change the grid spacing from 1 to 0 0.5 and hit Update Surface. 
Back in the Civil Explorer, we can again switch smoothing on and off as needed. It's important to remember that smoothing actually changes the tin surface, not just the tin surface's appearance. So this means that any civil objects using the surface, like alignments or gradings or, or height labels, that type of thing, will also be adjusted. To see this, let's head over to some gradings within the drawing and go through the smoothing process again. Draw an area around our weird dam thingy, and if we zoom in and switch the smoothing on and off, you'll see the civil object change too. Great. Um, it's not that clear, so let's switch the surface off and try again. There we go, this area over here, changing civil objects. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new tin smoothing workflow in Bricks CAD Pro V25. So what have we learned? We know that tin surfaces may not totally represent the real world and that tin smoothing is something that can help us with this. We geeked out just a little bit and learned a tiny bit about the method that we used for smoothing, natural neighbor interpolation. We know we can smooth an entire surface or just a selected area. And we learned that civil objects are automatically updated if they are attached to the surface we're working with. So if you want to know more about the other great functionality updates in BricsCAD Pro V25, and you think you can handle more of my voice, then head over to our webpage to see our other breakout sessions. And as always, you're welcome to download V25 and try out our new awesomeness for yourself. Thanks again for watching. You take care now.